find that location both in X and Y and in Z. So we have just set one vertex for the feature line. And then we advance through this process to create all the different feature lines that represent this curve and gutter. As you can see, we have three feature lines that are defining the curb and gutter. And nothing is easier than just telling Global Mapper to create a buffer zone of 100 meter along a line. So all we had to do is we, create, we, we draw that yellow line along the highway and then we let uh, uh, Global Mapper create a buffer zone and give it some, some, uh, some facts. And here we are with a 100 meter buffer zone, very easy. But what if we did something even more creative? What if we what if we change that projection axis so that now we have multiple points? And the one thing to take away here is that is that folks will say, well, what's what what height are you using to design these new systems? And and there isn't a height. As you can see, the heights above the ellipsoids are different because we're because we've changed that projection axis. Okay, so we aren't using a height, height is part of the equation. So you can see how wooded this area is. We use global mapper and auto classification to strip away these trees so we can see what lies underneath them. Now this is all very swampy type area. Some of the areas that we thought might have been a buried treasure was probably somewhere along here and along over here. But if you look real close, you can actually see, this is probably a few hundred years ago. This waterway has definitely moved <laughs> over time. The morphology of the, of the river has, has changed a lot. So. I produced this thing in like an hour and a half, and then I had to analyze it looking for any weird man-made things. I'm gonna take a look at the actual generated mesh here. And this has a photo texture applied to it. Let's look at this in the 3D viewer and we'll get the really the full effect of this product here. But now we have a nice detailed photo textured 3D model of this site 